All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka the Writer, and today, holy crap, we are finally into universe mode. That is correct. Today is the draft. Before we get into the rules of the draft, we got to establish who our general managers are, and what better way to start things off than with the GMs, plural, for Monday Night Raw, starting with Stephanie McMahon herself. After my rise wrapped up, Mandy Rose kind of got fired from being the general manager, and so Stephanie McMahon had to step in, and she's been the general manager since then. But she has a little bit of help to run the three-hour mothership known as Monday Night Raw. And that man is none other than Mr. McMahon. Vince McMahon himself is co-GMing things with Stephanie McMahon over Monday Night Raw. Oh boy, we're, this is this is a strong start. Holy crap. But they are not the only co-GMs running a show on WWE programming in universe mode. That is correct. We are jumping over to the blue brand SmackDown. As we saw in my GM, well, uh, NXT kind of just flattened out SmackDown, and Adam Pearce kind of ran his roster into the ground. So... We've got not one but two GMs, starting with none other than Sonya Deville. Of course, Sonya Deville has experience managing on both Raw and SmackDown, so it was only a natural fit for her to help steer the ship over on the blue brand. However, she is not alone as well, as the co-general manager of SmackDown will be none other than Shane McMahon. That is correct. we got three McMahons running things on Raw and SmackDown. This is definitely going to end well, right? Right. And last but certainly not least, the woman who beat SmackDown in the ratings over on my GM in her first year as a general manager, Christina Bennett. That is correct. Christina Bennett is still running things over on NXT, keeping some consistency, which I think we could all appreciate, right? Right. She became a GM after she kind of had to get forced into retirement, as we saw over on My Rise. And so we're going to see how year number two looks for Christina Bennett and the NXT roster. And of course, we cannot forget about the champions that, I don't know, have to represent each of the shows across Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. Starting off with Monday Night Raw, we present to you the current reigning defending WWE Champion with his special counsel, Paul Heyman, Roman Reigns. Right as the nameplate popped up. That was good timing right there, kids. That was really good timing. And of course, with Roman Reigns being the WWE Champion, We've got the Usos, the other part of the bloodline, as the Raw Tag Team Champions. And, of course, we cannot have the Raw roster complete without the Raw Women's Champion, the Queen herself, Charlotte Flair. We're going to head on over to NXT next. And, well, we've only got one champion as of this current moment in time because, well, the Women's Championship had to be vacated. Beth Phoenix was the current champion heading out of WrestleMania. But due to injury, she had to vacate the title, so uh, Finn Balor's kind of got to hold down the fort a little bit. But in the meantime, we also got North American and tag titles to sort out as well. Those will be introduced here in Universe Mode. But for now, we've got Finn Balor with the NXT Championship. And of course, last but not least, we're heading over to SmackDown. And well, NXT beat SmackDown in the ratings in my GM. And thus, we have Akira Tozawa as our Universal Champion. Seriously, that's what it was when we ended my GM. If you don't believe me, go watch like the last couple of minutes or so of the series. And to close out the champions, of course, we have Becky Lynch with the SmackDown Women's Champion. And let's hope that she actually defends her title this time. Because if you remember, again, from my GM, she didn't defend her title until like 20, 25 weeks in. It was kind of wild. All right, so before we head into this draft, we've got to establish some ground rules, right? Just to make sure that things are kind of flowing pretty smoothly, right? Right. So... Each show will select one superstar or one team at a time. There will be three picks for Raw, because they're a three-hour show, and two for SmackDown and NXT, because on paper, and in theory, they are two-hour shows. Tag teams and managers are one pick, unless stated otherwise. So, for example, if 
you want to break up RK Bro, you can do just that. Uh, Paul Heyman, as we saw, he went with Roman Reigns over to Raw. So those are a couple examples right there. All undrafted superstars will be free agents and can be signed to a brand at any time. This can also include custom superstars as well. And then, of course, champions are exempt and will stay on their rosters, as we just saw. And, of course, here are some other important notes that we got to keep in the back of our brains, right? Uh, so, not all the titles are vacant and are based on the My GM series. And again, if you haven't watched the entire thing, we're going to at least get the cliff notes as to who had the title and when and that sort of thing. Uh, no canon from WWE 2K20's absolutely messy universe mode will be involved. If you've been around for a while, at least a good year or two, you will know how messy that universe mode got and the canon that went behind it. So by this point, you're probably wondering where NXT UK falls into this. NXT UK is being absorbed with NXT. Uh, entitled unifications will indeed happen. We will have a unification match with the NXT and NXT UK championships and with the NXT Women's Championship and the NXT UK Women's Championship. Because the tag titles are new, uh, we're just going to focus on getting the NXT tag team titles, you know, up and running. And of course, the North American Championship, that'll be our mid-card title. Now, uh, creator wrestlers and DLC can be assigned to a brand at any time, so that's how we're going to handle DLC and custom superstars. Now, with regards to community creations and cause and stuff like that, if I use anything from community creations, y'all know I give credit where credit is due around here. So we're going to create another fresh document for 2K22, and we'll just plop all the credits and, you know, tags and stuff like that, the gamer tags and so forth. So that way you all can find them as well, and we give credit where credit is due, because everybody's fantastic and doing awesome things out in community creations, and they are, quite frankly, some of the people that hold down the fort in this community. The nice thing is that we have the DLC kind of sprinkled throughout the next few months, so we can rotate people in and that sort of thing, get some fresh faces on the show, and that's how it's supposed to work. You figure out what to do with your current roster, and then slowly but surely figure out, you know, maybe we trade some people, or maybe we, you know, have people leave the show and bring in some fresh people, you know, those sorts of things. So if there's anybody from DLC that you would like to see on Universe Mode or any created wrestlers, do indeed let me know and we will take it under consideration. And speaking of switching shows and leaving shows, uh, trades can happen at any given time for any given reason and the Superstar Shakeup will indeed take place after SummerSlam so we will tackle the Superstar Shakeup when we cross that bridge. But of course this is the moment y'all have been waiting for, right? You want to see who's going to get drafted and who goes on to what show and that sort of thing so without further ado, let's get right into the draft. And kicking things off on the first round of the draft is none other than Brock Lesnar headed for Monday Night Raw. The first pick for NXT is none other than Seth Rollins. SmackDown's first pick is none other than John Cena. Next up for Monday Night Raw is the almighty Bobby Lashley. NXT is about to get phenomenal, that's right, AJ Styles is headed to NXT. Next up for SmackDown is Drew McIntyre. And wrapping up the first round of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects Pete Dunn. Kicking off the second round of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects the boss, Sasha Banks. The first tag team of the draft is heading to NXT as NXT selects Rey and Dominic Mysterio. Next up, SmackDown selects Bailey. Who's next for Monday Night Raw? Well, it's Goldberg. Goldberg is joining Monday Night Raw. To kickstart the women's division, NXT selects Asuka. For SmackDown's last pick of the round, SmackDown selects Rhea Ripley. And closing out round two of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects Kushida. First pick of the third round of the draft is none other than Carrying Cross, along with Scarlett as they head over to Monday Night Raw. Next up for NXT is the team of RK Bro, Randy Orton, and Riddle. The latest addition to SmackDown's women's division is none other than Shayna Baszler. Next up for Monday Night Raw is The Miz. NXT's next pick is Imperium. Next up for Friday Night SmackDown is Alexa Bliss. And to close out round three of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects Maurice. 
Starting things off here in the fourth round of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects Big E. NXT's first pick of the round is none other than Sheamus. Next up, Friday Night SmackDown selects Damien Priest. The latest addition to the Monday Night Raw women's division is none other than the EST Bianca Belair. But NXT certainly has something up their sleeve because WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus makes her, her way over to NXT. It seemed like SmackDown needed a superhero and I think they've got it in the form of Ricochet as he heads over to Friday Night SmackDown. And to close out round four of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects Kofi Kinks and Xavier Woods The New Day. Starting the fifth round of the draft, Kevin Owens is heading over to Monday Night Raw. NXT's next selection is none other than The Way, featuring Austin Theory, Candice LeRae, and Johnny Gargano. Heading over to SmackDown, SmackDown selects Drew Gulak. Heading back over Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw selects Nikki A.S.H. NXT's women's division continues to grow as Io Shirai joins NXT. Heading back over to SmackDown, Lacey Evans joins the blue brand. To cap off and get to the halfway mark in the draft, the Street Profits are heading over to Monday Night Raw. Heading into the second half of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects the Viking Raiders. We've got another Hall of Famer heading over to NXT, none other than the Rated R Superstar Edge. I can't tell if things are about to get a little bit happier over on SmackDown, but it could very well be for Happy Corbin as he heads over to the blue brand. Next up for Monday Night Raw is Apollo Crews. Closing out their draft picks for the sixth round, Mustache Mountain officially heads over to NXT. For their final pick of the sixth round, SmackDown selects Mansoor. And to finish the sixth round of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander. The first pick for Monday Night Raw here in the seventh round of the draft is none other than Raquel Gonzalez. The tag team division is really starting to take shape as Legado del Fantasma joins NXT. Well, this definitely is not a conspiracy theory as Sami Zayn officially heads over to Friday Night SmackDown. Monday Night Raw could very well be getting their MVP of the show as MVP heads over to Monday Night Raw. The women's division continues to take shape on NXT as Kaylee Ray heads over to NXT. Next up, Friday Night SmackDown selects Roderick Strong. And to finish out the seventh round of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects Mandy Rose. The first pick of the eighth round of the draft is Ember Moon as she's heading over to Monday Night Raw. Next up, NXT selects Jordan Devlin. Next up, Friday Night SmackDown selects the team of Umberto Carrillo and Angel Garza. Things might get a little spooky around Monday Night Raw as Dexter Loomis heads over to the Red Brand. NXT has a Prince, NXT has a Queen, and now NXT also has a King. That is correct. King Nakamura is heading over to NXT. Next up, Friday Night SmackDown selects R-Truth. And to close out round number 8, Monday Night Raw selects Shotzi. Starting off the ninth round of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects Naomi. Next up, NXT selects Cameron Grimes. Things might be getting a little chaotic over on Friday Night SmackDown as Retribution heads over to the Blue Brain. Up next, Monday Night Raw selects Dakota Kai. Coming up next is Liv Morgan heading over to NXT. Friday Night SmackDown selects Elias. And to close out round number nine of the draft, Lucha House Party heads over to Monday Night Raw. All right, friends, here we go. Kicking off the final round of the draft, Monday Night Raw selects Jinder Mahal. Looks like we're all going back to school because Alpha Academy officially joins NXT. Next up, Friday Night SmackDown selects Dana Brooke. Heading over to Monday Night Raw is none other than John Morrison. It looks like NXT is about to get a little bit more fabulous as NXT selects Carmella. Next up, Friday Night SmackDown selects Titus O'Neil. And last but not least, to close out the draft, the final draft pick for Monday Night Raw is none other than Mustafa Ali. Heading into the supplemental draft, so each show gets up to three supplemental draft picks. So to kick things off, we've got Timothy Thatcher heading over to Monday Night Raw. Up next, NXT selects the team of Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. 
Friday Night SmackDown selects Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. Monday Night Raw opted to not use the rest of their supplemental draft picks, and so up next, NXT selects Cesaro. Next up, Friday Night SmackDown selects Breezango. The final pick for NXT is none other than Kyle O'Reilly. The final, final pick of the draft, Friday Night SmackDown selects Tegan Knox. 